Why is Russia building a billion dollar bridge to nowhere? Hello everyone, welcome back to Amit Media. Before continuing, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share it with your friends. Russia is now working on a billion dollar project that might not make sense. As you may know, Russia is already a very rich country and it can afford to spend billions of dollars on massive infrastructure projects, including ones that seem weird. The Ruski Bridge is the longest cable state bridge in the world. Although it doesn't seem much used daily, Russia has spent a staggering $1.1 billion to build that impressive bridge. It connects the Vladivostok to Ruski Island, but the only problem is that the Ruski Island is barely populated. Only about 5,360 people live there. When it was first introduced, people thought that it was a vanity project. Now, here is the reason why Russia built a billion dollar bridge to nowhere. This record breaking bridge crosses the eastern Bosphorus Strait and connects Vladivostok, which is the second largest city in the Russian Far East, to the barely populated Ruski Island. This impressive Russian mega project was very hard to build and it certainly didn't come cheap. Engineers worked tirelessly to design the record breaking bridge, and construction workers spent thousands of working hours building the bridge as quickly as possible. This bridge has massive pylons that support the cables that stand about 390.2 meters tall each and require 20,000 meters of concrete mix to build the staggering height of the pylons. This makes it one of the tallest bridges in the world. The size of this thing makes your jaws drop, but it is questioned that why Russia would build such a thing towards such a small island. The Ruski Bridge was built to serve the 2012 Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Conference. This summit, which aimed to promote free trade between Pacific Rim nations, was held at Far Eastern Federal University on Ruski Island. The Ruski Bridge was not the only bridge that Russia built in preparation for the summit. The Zolotoy Bridge, which was connected to Vladivostok to the Turkin Cape, was completed just months before the summit as well. Its span is about 737 meters and costs about 230. $5 million. Now let's go back to the Ruski Bridge. This record-breaking bridge was completed in July 2012, just a few months before the 2012 Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Conference, which was held in September, because the bridge was only built to promote the summit. Building the foundation of the bridge was hard. 77 meter deep piles were driven below ground to support the large 320 meter A-shaped pylons on each side of the Cable State Roadway. The pylons were concreted using custom self-climbing forms and pours of 4.5 meters. Because of the massive size of the bridge, a crane was required to complete the first three pours. The cables that stabilize the bridge are 579.8 meters long and they are colored red, white, and blue in honor of the Russian flag. At night, the huge pylons are illuminated with bright light to give the appearance of a giant Russian flag drop over the bridge. The builders are faced with weather-related difficulties during construction. The cold weather means that completing the megastructure is much more difficult. The workers faced wind speeds of about 36 meters per second which resulted in 6 meter high waves. The ice in the eastern Bosphorus Strait can reach a thickness of 70 centimeters and temperatures in winter can plummet to minus 31 degrees Celsius. Absolutely mind-boggling. So much material was needed to build the bridge that over 1,300 meters of railway track was built to transport them. All two huge production facilities were built in preparation for construction, one on the island and another on the Natsimova Peninsula. Many workers had to live on site due to the amount of work they had to do. Cafeterias were built on site, office buildings, welding workshops, laboratories, and concrete mixing plants were also built on site. More than 900 meters of viaducts were built to provide an approach to the bridge, and the concrete and steel viaduct columns range in height from 9 to 30 meters high. About 1.5 million cubic meters of dirt and rock were moved to build the construction sites. The project began in 2008 and in just four short years, the bridge was finished. It was officially named the Ruski Bridge on September 2, 2012, which was just one week before the 2012 Pacific Economic Cooperation Conference. Russia spent $1.1 billion to build the Ruski Bridge, but it was said that about $20 billion are planned to be spent on the island to attract tourists. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. If you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment for future topics. Until next time, stay safe.